Eugene O'Neill was an American playwright and Nobel laureate, widely regarded as one of the greatest dramatists in American history. He was born on October 16, 1888, in New York City, to Irish immigrant parents. His father, James O'Neill, was a successful actor who played the lead role in The Count of Monte Cristo over 6,000 times. O'Neill grew up in a dysfunctional family, with an alcoholic father and a mother who became addicted to morphine after a difficult childbirth. He was sent away to a Catholic boarding school at the age of seven, where he developed a love for literature and began writing poetry and plays. After dropping out of Princeton University and spending several years working odd jobs, O'Neill joined a theatrical troupe and began writing plays in earnest. His first full-length play, Beyond the Horizon, was produced on Broadway in 1920 and won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. Over the course of his career, O'Neill wrote some of the most celebrated plays in American theater, including Anna Christie, Desire Under the Elms, The Iceman Cometh, and Long Day's Journey into Night. His work often dealt with dark and difficult themes, such as addiction, illness, and family dysfunction, and his characters were frequently drawn from his own life experiences. O'Neill struggled with personal demons throughout his life, including depression and alcoholism, and his plays often reflected his own struggles with these issues. He was married three times and had a strained relationship with his children, particularly his eldest son, Eugene O'Neill Jr., who committed suicide in 1950. Despite these challenges, O'Neill continued to write prolifically throughout his life, and his work continued to be widely produced and acclaimed. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1936, becoming the first American playwright to receive the honor. O'Neill died on November 27, 1953, at the age of 65, from pneumonia. His legacy as a playwright and his impact on American theater have been enduring, and his work continues to be studied, produced, and celebrated to this day.